Oh, wait, hold on. What the hell? Can you hear that? Hold on. Yeah, I get it! Oh! Hey, yo, not the sound I was looking for, but it seems like it's what we needed. Hey, my mouth is wide open. I hope no one can see. I'm like heavy breathing inside <laughs> of the mask. <laughs> Just holding my mouth open. I can't breathe in this thing. Well, all right, we'll do the intro real quick. That way you can take off your, your mask. Welcome, everyone, to the Lazy Thinker Show. We're not wearing scary costumes. Ooh. <laughs> okay, Halloween, Halloween episode. Spooky. Shoot or shoot, LeBron James. <laughs> Get the zipper stuck. <laughs> it's actually stuck. I got it, I got it. we're good. Oh, wait, no, it's stuck again. Okay, I'm taking off the this. I'm going to leave the sleeve on. I feel like I can shoot a million threes right now with this with this sleeve on. Wow, that was that was beautiful. What have you been up to, buddy? Uh, you know, same old, same old. Mike and Cam already in use. Close all apps and tabs and reload the page. What? Hold on. All my shit's closed. What the fuck are you talking about? I can hear you just fine. Oh, that's cool. I can go to other tabs while still on it and see myself, dude. That's so sick. Riverside is really where it's at. I really, one day, a dream sponsor for us would be Riverside. That would be a beautiful um, full circle moment for us right there. What have you been up to? Um, absolutely nothing. Um, I realize we uh, we talked about this. Well, not absolutely nothing. That is actually the wrong answer. Um, I cut it out of that last episode. I'm, I'm sure you noticed, um, but I figured I'll just like officially say it again on this one. But uh, I am going to be a father, uh, which, which is pretty cool. I, I'll play like a part of the clip that we that we showed before. We don't have to like necessarily pretend like it's the, the first time we're talking. I was about say, it, I... like, at that time, like I, I talked with Tatum, and we were like, "Eh, we'd rather post the Instagram um, posts first. Which, by the way, Patrick killed those pictures. He. Uh, Cassie got kind of decorated like she was doing a lot of the staging, but uh, Patrick t- took the pictures and he did an amazing job with them. It was way better than what we could have expected. Um, but yeah, January 5th is the due date. Like in literally like two months, I'm going to be a father, which is absolutely insane. It's so fast. Um, it's just so quick. I mean, you'll find out so late that it's just all like, just like whiplash. Yeah. It's just all like, whoa, give me a second. Let me process it real fast. And then just bam. This is this is this is fucking happening. But honestly, I am so excited. Um, I like it makes me so much more motivated in every other part of my life now. Because and we we talked about this before, but I'll I'll just like touch on it again. But like cutting corners is something that like instantly is just like out of my head. I, I try to do the best version of myself that I can. That way, you know, like how could I ask my daughter to, you know, I don't know if I said it was a, I, it's on Instagram. But uh, how could I ask my daughter to, you know, hold herself to the highest standard if, if I can't, if I'm not doing that myself? And it's just like these weird mindset changes that I, I've gone through, which which has been really cool. Um, one little update is I went through my Instagram and purged like 100 followers. And uh, Tatum and I both both put our accounts on private because... Um, I was wondering why I couldn't see anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't make the cut, buddy. You didn't yeah, make the cut. Say. So, like, as far as all this goes, I'm just gonna really be using the the Lazy Finger Media account for anything public um, facing. Oh, thank you so much. That was that would have been that if I would have noticed that in uh, like while I was editing, I would have I'd be so so fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> just been sitting there. I was, all at first, time. I thought it was like a part, like a design, and I was like. Uh, maybe it's not, but it just I kept looking at it and I was like, I need to know. <laughs> well, thank, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, part of it was, uh, you know, because the internet is a weird place, and I, I don't want you know anybody to just. I, I plan on posting a lot about my daughter, and so I don't necessarily want anybody to be able to just go on my account and look at what's going on in my personal life, and so um, I want to value that a little bit more. Um, and then also just purging some of the followers because i realized like i had so many like ghost followers like random like user da 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 accounts that i have no idea who they were but they were just like lingering and lurking 
Um, so that that was that was interesting. That's always a good feeling whenever you're like going through your Instagram. You're like, who the fuck? <laughs> like, when did this even happen? Like, get this right. get this out of here. Who the? And I love checking like what I'll do every time. I'll go down my follower list and I'll click because I don't have a lot. I'll click everyone and click their followers. And if I don't pop up, I immediately unfollow. I'm like, who the, who the hell am I following you? If you don't even follow me, right. what the fuck? Like, I'm not a fan. <laughs> what the hell? No. <laughs> no, exactly. It's like, fuck you. Like, I'm not just going to give you a follow. But it kind of hurts um, whenever, like, I click their following list and I'm not, they're not following me, but they're following, like, all of our mutuals or whatever. I'm like, well, what the f- what the hell was wrong right. with me? <laughs> what did I do? I'm <laughs> fucking in. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that with a couple people um, that I was following, they weren't following me back, and I was like, okay, go fuck yourself, piece of shit. Like, you take, okay. it, like, <laughs> you take it so disrespectfully. <laughs> like, you're just all like, what the yeah. fuck? Like, it's just a follow. Like, you don't follow me back? What the hell? Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> my ratio is definitely, I have more followers than following. Um, but that's only because, you know, people are weird. And I get a lot of those fucking. I, I, never mind. Get a lot of what? Nothing. No, 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 say it. Oh, no, no. No, I you gotta get, say it. You I already brought it up. Just like random, just random porn accounts. No, what the hell? You be oh, the porn accounts, don't you, Jacob? Just you me. Didn't follow me back. <laughs> No, but <laughs> where you've never actually gotten a uh, porn account? A yeah, porn I got account? a bot before. Yeah, of course I get bots. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was like, I can't be the only one that's actually experienced that. <laughs> no, that's that's hilarious. It's like it's like yeah, you get uh, porn bot accounts from watching porn. It's a virus, and then they get to your stuff, and then you just exposed yourself. Well, I don't, you know, I don't watch porn, so it's crazy. It's crazy. I definitely do. <laughs> at least you're honest <laughs> at least you're honest buddy at least you're honest of that disgusting industry <laughs> wait okay anyways we're gonna move past that you uh <laughs> i have a baby shower on uh december 9th do you want to go you and julie <laughs> no i just it's not really me it's not really my vibe I'll probably just skip that stupid yeah i'm going oh um, okay i was like you know i appreciate <laughs> the honesty <laughs> like a part of me like hurt I'm going- for a second I'm going to our mutuals. That's this Saturday or whatever. You're for sure going? Unless you're not going. No, I'm going. I, I'm going. If you're going. <laughs> I was like, I was like, wait, are you not going? <laughs> I'm going to walk around like, looking weird as hell. I haven't even really talked to them in forever. But yeah, I mean. Same. Same. All I'm them, going. like, uh, I haven't spoken to in like a, I haven't spoken to in like a year for the most part. And then. It's weird though. We're going to her house. Like we've known her since we were literal teenagers in high school. Like working a part time job, which was crazy. And now we're sexy. Um, and now we're sexy and still young and hot. Sure, dude. I read books, hella books, dude. And I fucking pay taxes and stuff. Yeah, it's just how it is, you know. You know, you just get that age, man. You just get that age. What's the last book you've read? I don't remember the name, uh, you know, because I just read so many a day. I do miss reading books. Oh. I was talking about that with uh, Josh. Um, I used to read a lot constantly, um, and it was it was good. Books are fantastic. Highly recommend reading a good book. I just don't have the patience for it anymore. I've been sucked into this new age of just screen time, so it's, it's short hard term. To, but yeah. I love movies as well. Um, I just love movies, TV shows. I'm watching The Office right now again. I've never God. watched it all the way through. I just spoilers for the office. If you haven't seen it, um, I yeah, got fuck to that anyone part. who hasn't seen the office yet. Who cares? Who cares about spoilers at this point? Um, I got to, I'm at, I just fit, watched the part in my Uber on the way home. Uh, the part where Jim's just all like, I'm in love with you. I just thought you should know. Just had to say it once. Just had to, just had to do it. I was like, yeah, just had to throw it out there. I, I was like, Jim, I thought you were just about to tell you you're going to transfer. What are you doing right now? Did she all of a sudden you're like, yeah, I'm having a great night. And you're like, oh, great. Let me just drop this bomb on her. Like, Jim, you couldn't wait for Monday. <laughs> um, what a dick. Uh, no, for real. I'm pretty sure we, we've talked about The Office before, but it, it really is one of those shows where it covers, it checks all the boxes. You want like an mm-hmm. emotional journey. You want a belly laugh. You want like character development throughout several seasons. Like you literally have all of it, and every episode is hilarious. 
like there are there you know there is a conversation well you haven't seen it all the way through yet so i won't talk about that but like pre michael leaving and then post michael leaving how it's kind of a different show but it's still the, the way that it rebounded it was incredible like i really enjoyed those those last couple seasons but i'm happy you're watching it again i know uh josh doesn't really care for the office right oh yeah yeah no he doesn't he does not he does not like it that much which is fine i mean you also don't like breakfast burritos which is crazy um <laughs> so over. we we're full of hot takes and i don't like women oh well that doesn't really make sense <laughs> hot take wait like, wh- why does it not make sense well not th- not that there's anything wrong um with not liking women but you have been with a woman and live with a woman um and have for some years now and so it, it just kind of oh you're talking about my friend that I kiss sometimes? Yeah, she's cool. She's my bestie girl. But I don't like her. Oh, okay. Well, my, I my bad. I just got the wrong she walks by and I'm all like, dude, go. <laughs> she finally followed the uh, Lazy Thinker account on Instagram like last week. <laughs> she wasn't following. That's she, <laughs> Took her long she, enough. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't even listen to T-Gulb. She does not care. Her excuse is always... Uh, um, well, I can hear it because y'all do it in the other room, and I'm like, but you don't, you don't hear it. But it's okay. You don't I hear the final it. edit. You got you the know. special effects. You know. Yeah, it's fine though. It's not her her thing. She likes to. She's one of those girls who, not to expose her, um, she she like watches the same, like like she watches. She's watched Jenna Marbles like a TV show. Like she's rewatched all of her videos like over and over again. Like she'll be like, oh yeah, this video is great. I don't think I've ever. Unless I'm showing someone a video, I don't think I've ever rewatched a YouTube video. Like, yeah, yeah. That sounds crazy, but I mean, she's not really a TV show watcher, so if that's her thing, that's her thing. Um, she's a swifty yeah. girl, so she's a little weird. What did you? What was your take on? Uh, it's kind of old news now, but there was. I don't know if you heard of that controversy with Taylor Swift and uh, Travis Kelsey, and there was like a lot of commentary because you know, like on Instagram, you know how she's dating Travis Kelsey. And she, uh, has yeah, gone Travis is really uh, giving her a name. You know, he's really bringing some <laughs> fame and spotlight to her. It's really cool how he's doing that for her. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, like some of the I forgot the guys' names, but it was on Barstool. Did we? Already, we didn't talk about this, did we? Hmm. There was the the two guys on Barstool, and they were essentially like Taylor Swift is hanging out with Travis Kelsey and is being seen at those games to help right raise her star. And, uh, and and not the other way around, which is like so funny because she's coming off that like two billion dollar summer tour that she did. Yeah, the Eras tour. I've said it a million times. Taylor Swift is Drake for white girls. Yes, yes. Like she is very, she is very, very famous. Well, like, I would be willing to argue that she's even more famous than Drake in in the sense that like she, the way that she can mobilize her fans, like if Drake called all of his fans to do this one task i'm sure a lot of people would but if taylor called the swifties out they would they would literally i feel like they would actually take over the country if she asked them to like like to mobilize swifty the love i see swifties have for taylor swift is insane it's like they're it's like she's their best friend and they're all like yeah that's my girl and you just but you never see them hang out because they're not really friends but they just right. i don't get it like her music's great i love taylor swift's music mm-hmm. it's good music um but it, I just, it's the same way. I feel the same way about Drake as well. I get that it's good music. I don't get why people treat it like great music. Like it's like the bet, like they fucking, yeah. the fandoms are so obsessive. I don't know where that, I don't understand where that comes from, that obsession with these people. But I don't like being fans of people. Uh, I was fans of Juice World. That's probably the only person that I was like close to obsessed with. Um, yeah, rest, rest in peace. peace. But um, that was a tough time. I I remember when Juice World passed and being around you, you were you were really sad. I was I was pissed. I was like broken. Yeah. Hold that just a little. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he still has like all this unreleased music that's apparently still coming out and all that. Like yeah. he's just like a musical guru in hey, the way me, I can't wear music anymore. Me, <laughs> me and uh, me and my old coworker. Uh, came to the conclusion that I feel like I've already said this, but uh, that he's he sounds like uh, he sounds like a white guy rapping. Like he sounds like, but he makes it cooler. You know, he he has like the like an emo type <laughs> rap, 
I feel like mm-hmm. that's why a lot of white guys like are like vibe. Like, yeah, yeah, dude. Oh yeah. I am depressed and I don't want to be around anyone else. <laughs> yeah. I am sad, dude. I'll drink lean too. <laughs> um, yeah, it's so it's so this is the way he, he does the he does that voice. I have these lucid dreams where I talk. That's how he sounds. And yeah, so, it's just it's he sounds so like emo white boy, and it's just it's so funny. He makes it so cool. It makes us uh, emo white boys just feel sick. validated. Like, yeah, like, yeah, dude. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, apparently he will have music just coming out for some years to come. I think still, like he there was um Godzilla that he released with Eminem. Like that was, was that like a after, year or two. Was that yeah, post? that was a year or two after uh, after he passed away. His whole post um, death album that he released, that first one was a uh, was pretty good. I liked it. That's so weird saying. It is weird. It's weird that they still release. Like, what? Well, I don't. I, I'm glad to hear it, but like, was that like in a hey worst case scenario? release this album you know or is it just all like yeah. he has all this backlog shit let's just put it together and still make money off of his death you know it's just like i don't i don't know how that yeah. works i don't know all the stuff or maybe it's just music that just gets really i mean it's, i don't know i don't know i just know that rappers yeah. definitely have or musicians artists have like fucking a backlog of a bunch of shit that they're unsure of or working on that they work with but it's cool, it's cool. yeah like i want to believe that he specifically had this wish of like anything that i have in my catalog that i've not released yet the studio can just work on sending that out with people I've worked with before and make it into something that I would have released. But the skeptic in me kind of thinks that the studio just has access to his catalog and legally yeah, they can do like, whatever they want with it. And they're with like, us. Yeah, exactly. They're like, yep, we'll just, we'll just put it out and still make Maybe. a shit ton of money off this dead yeah, man's if name. If something happens to you, then, you know, we'll, you know, have rights to all of your music. Um, yeah, it's, it's weird. I don't know. I don't know the, specifics of it the logistics all that fun jazz but hopefully it's just he was like fuck it release it um he could also just be faking his death these are new songs he's just making chilling on a beach i wish because that's always every time a musician dies or an actor or something it's always like he faked his it's like maybe he faked his death i wish just once that that would be true just one time i would just love for him to be like nah, i did it nah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how rappers sound it's no, that's exactly sense. how they sound. Ah. Uh, so, uh, according to Reddit, the the article is titled "How Do Dead Music Artists Continue to Release Songs Well After Death?" and the most popular answer was most of the time the artist has made so many songs, which is unreleased content before their death, or uh, new songs they wanted to be on albums. So the label, in conju- in conjunction with their families, released the songs in the albums, making money for the label and the artist's family most of the time. So I guess the family has a say in that as well, um, which is important. That's how. That's exactly how it should be. But I've always just felt like a little like, just a, just a little that, on, like weird about it. It makes the label and the family money. It's like eh, you know, but how much does the family make? How much does the label make? Like what's right. the what's the the dividend there? But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Whatever. Yeah. Um, They're not. Juice isn't worried about it. <laughs> No, you're right. You're right about that one, buddy. Yeah. Okay. So I, in, in the spirit of Halloween, I had some like serious topics. I was going to shit on Elon Musk again, but you know, we've done that quite a few times on this podcast already or on the show already. And, uh, well, um, apparently in, uh, fuck in the Netherlands and Philippines, they just rolled out this new feature. I don't know if you heard about this where new users on the app, in order to be able to tweet on the platform, they have to pay a dollar a year. It has to you have to set up your your card payment with Twitter or X. You know when you download the account, if you choose, if you opt out of paying that dollar fee, then essentially, um, um, you can do like only a view only version of X. Like you can view all the tweets, you can search on there, you can go to the trending page, set up your own profile. But in order to tweet, you'd have to pay that dollar. And I guess this is like his new way of um, like going against the bots, you know, fighting against the, the the bots on the platform. But he's done several things at this point that have been an attempt to get rid of the bots and, and uh, fight back against bots. And I just don't buy that at all. To me, I feel like if you go based off the numbers, like Elon Musk will claim that Twitter has more engagement 
um, than they've ever had um, since in the year. Cause I think it's a year like tomorrow that he's um, ran the platform already. And, He'll claim that you, uh, him and the CEO will claim that Twitter's numbers are as high as they've ever been. But in reality, there's third party um, sources that um, actually tell the, the number of engagement. And it's showing year over year that it's actually down 16% in terms of um, user engagement. So that's part of it. And you know, you could argue that it's a he said, she said type of moment. But uh, Twitter also said that that Donald Trump interview with Tucker Carlson had like 230 million views, which in reality, it actually had 14 million views. They just counted every time somebody scrolled past the video as a view for that interview. And Trump and them were saying that it was the, the most viewed video on the internet ever in, in one single night. And it's just, it's not the case. 14 million views is a lot of views, but it's a lot less yeah, than I mean, 130. It's, views. it's a, a decent amount, I guess. Um, yeah, not not compared to the laser finger show. I mean, we <laughs> we pull higher numbers than that. We but it's, pull numbers, boy. Um, <laughs> don't, uh, don't, look at your numbers, don't actually look at it. <laughs> uh, but if you if it, if the numbers low, it's because you're just early, early. Um, right, <laughs> right. But yeah, no, I was just thinking about that. I tweeted today. I tweeted um, in my Uber on the way here, and I because I just hadn't in a while. Um, and you know, I haven't been feeling very, the tweet said that life hasn't been very cash money lately. (laughs) Oh, Twitter's so stupid. I hate that. I could just say stuff like that, but that's what I just post to the world. Um, this is what I have to say. Uh, but no, uh, yeah, just cause life has been meh. Uh, but anyways, I just posted when I posted it, I was thinking, I was like, I feel like I haven't been on Twitter. Like when you said like Elon Musk, I was like, Oh fuck. I haven't been on Twitter. Like, I don't even know what's going on in the world. Like, I just, I don't get on Twitter anymore. Like, I'll, I'll get on because it's habit. Like, I'll click it and then immediately just get right. off. And I'm not even on yeah. TikTok anymore where I would still get some other things. I'd be, I'm on Instagram Reels and Instagram Reels does not have, it's all just horrible memes. Um, <laughs> there's <laughs> yeah. no news at all. So it's like, I get, I don't know what's going on in the world at all i just have not been i don't know what's happening i don't i have no clue what's going on i've played spider-man uh that's about Fuck yeah i know spider-man came out i i see a bunch of spider-man stuff but other than that i couldn't tell you what uh, i have no idea i don't I, I don't know yeah i mean if you're if the way that i keep or try to keep up with it is i have the the apple news like the default news app and it'll give like a daily briefing but the google news one is elite like it'll literally break down over time as you view new, news articles that apply to you it'll brief mm-hmm. you that day of all the different news stories that you may be in- interested in and you can click on it and click on us and tech and science and celebrity yep. like it, it breaks it down cassie and patrick both sent me a video like cassie sent me the video first of a cody co clip and then Patrick sent me like I didn't I didn't watch it at first and then like twenty minutes later Patrick sent it to me. I was like via this is from Cassie and I'm just like, why do they want me to watch this video so bad? And I click it and it's it's Cody Co saying, uh <laughs> calling someone an NPC is the most disrespectful thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah damn fucking right thank you cody thank oh, you man i was like oh damn um yeah i don't think jacob is an npc he's a popular one all right it's different it's cool yeah. he's one of the cool ones dude he's like he's, he's like free guy from F- free guy uh what's his name blue shirt guy boom what's his name man i feel so much better about it i like blue shirt guys so much more than popular guess what because Clearly, you haven't seen the movie. He's played by Ryan Reynolds. Oh yeah, dude, that's a oh compliment. fuck you. That's a compliment. Fuck you. Wow. Oh, I thought that was good. Wow. <laughs> I thought that was a good thing. That was good. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When did we get to the soundboard? <laughs> Stupid! I hate that. You know what Josh hits me with every day at work when I say a joke, and I joke constantly. What? He hit me with a fucking. Wow, good one! And I, oh, I want to I wanna off myself so bad. I it's just all like it was a good one. It's like even if I say something funny, he'll still say it. I'm just like, oh, that doesn't mean it wasn't a good one just because you say good one. But it just it's, <laughs> it's it's the perfect insult. It just hits every time. It's just like fuck because it's just us yeah. two. So there's no one to like to also be laughing. So it just looks like an idiot for saying good one. It's just like quiet. 
I say a joke, it's quiet, and he goes, good one. <laughs> the God, fuck I hate yourself. that guy. Fuck him. Oh, we spent <laughs> so much time together. I love him. I hope we have babies together. Ta-da! <laughs> Anyways. What is uh, that? What is this new? Do you have a soundboard? Is it like an app that you have? Uh, what? What is it? Uh, on Riverside, it gives it has I've just discovered it has all this like media that I can just like clip in whenever I want. If we need a laugh track, like a, a, a say, say a joke right now, Tristan. Um, what you doing with that cheese, Danny? <laughs> <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> Or a Campbell's movie. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so we, if, we, if we ever need any of that, it also it's got a couple. Uh, hold on. We should do. Powered by Riverside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we actually have a live studio audience that we can tell uh, immediately for all our audio listeners. We actually have a room full of 100 people here. Um, our producer tells them when to laugh, when to not laugh. Um, so, you know, thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, anyways, I just, I thought that was um, interesting that we've recorded this many episodes on Riverside and I'm just now discovering that we have all these options here. Me and Josh have wanted like a little soundboy thing for our podcast so, so much. That'd be it would, good. It'd That'd make be good. It so, it'd make it so good. It's so funny, but we just... We'll get there. We'll get there. I need to first learn how to post uh, consecutively. I, 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 Me too I at this keep, point. I keep not. You've been good. I mean, you've been fine. Whenever we record, you post by when we need to post. But I have – I don't know what it is. I film the podcast and then it's time to listen to it. And it's because at work, now that Josh works, he does the thing that I usually do to listen to it. And so now I don't have a thing to do because I have to do something. I can't sit and listen. I just, it's not in me. I'm not built mm. for it. I see you like <laughs> posting pictures of you like just sitting there and editing and stuff and like doing your thing. It looks like such a vibe. And I'm all like, I couldn't, I know that's so much, <laughs> too much. I can't do it. It makes, drives me crazy. That's fair. I mean, mine is like, a, I, I feel you because if, if, I was just editing like a black audio screen. Like if it was just audio, I'd, I'd feel like it was, I would, I'd, I'd struggle getting through that, but that's why you guys need to start doing video. It wouldn't be hard. And then you guys can just have a video, dyna- a dynamic video podcast. Video would be too good though. Like it would be cause I laughed so hard in the car today with Josh just because he looked at me and he like, he does this face where like he half opens his mouth and just like opens his eyes really wide. We're just, <laughs> <laughs> and he's just not trying to make a face. It's just his face, and it's the funniest <laughs> thing. And I'm do I'll do your fucking Zoom shit every five seconds. It'll be the most <laughs> obnoxious thing because I'll just constantly zoom. Like Josh will say something, it'll be that dead silence, and just zoom in on both of. Oh, it would be great. It would be fantastic. That's but, why you guys need to. You need to. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We gotta. We gotta figure it out. You know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. He needs to be on here. Uh, yeah, I was actually just about to say we should set that up for next week because I Matt uh, Tatum got sick on the same day, but Matt hit me up on that Sunday that we were supposed to do the the interview and hit, both of his kids were, were throwing up. So it just wasn't a, a good day. Um, so we're trying to reset another uh, day, but uh, that's on the hold for, for now. Like we're definitely going to have it out before December. But uh, yeah, so we have an availability for, for next week. Um, I... We should definitely make that happen. I was about to, I was saying that like for your interview with Matt, you should just randomly like in the middle of it, send me an invite and I just come on and you, you play the little <laughs> applaud thing. It's just a guest appearance in the interview. Oh yeah. I just, this just in, Tristan's making an appearance on the show. Wait, oh shit. Wait, incoming? Who's, who's coming on the pod right now? Oh man. Uh, That'd be good. That'd be good. We should so actually... Funny. Let's plan on that because that would actually be hilarious for him. You yeah, to just make I'll, an appearance. I'll talk to I'll talk to Matt for a, for a few minutes. Uh, we'll have a little a breather. I don't know what y'all. I feel like I'm going to talk about serious stuff. Um, so I'll come on and talk about not so serious stuff, and then be like, "All right, I'm going to let y'all get back to it." And then I'll. <laughs> get out that of actually there. sounds like a great plan. He wants to do one, um, like the interview that we're already planning on doing, but he wants to do one with you because he loves 
he wants to like riff is what he said he wants to like a, he wants to fuck around so a terrible riffer no you're not i'll just sit there um, like matt take your fucking cock out right now sorry <laughs> <laughs> why is that your default fucking go to fucking comment <laughs> I forgot this is lazy thinker. I need to, I'm also so exhausted. It has been such a long day. Um, I feel that. And I thought I we were just that. talking. We were talking about Matt and just my fucking my brain. It just <laughs> triggered. Just something. immediately went to take your dick out. <laughs> Let me see it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. I gotta. I definitely gotta watch my language. You know, fucking. No, you don't. What's her face is gonna. What? I, I don't mean your. I don't mean your girlfriend this time. I mean your daughter is gonna. She doesn't. That's have a name not yet, so any better. <laughs> Uh, uh, we actually do have a name, actually. Did what? I tell you this? You're going to reveal it. Layla is her name. Oh, right now. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hell Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a little anticlimactic. I mean, you could have built it up a little bit. But... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. No, fuck. That was the wrong. <laughs> Layla. I'm so sorry, Layla. I'm so sorry. I meant to do. Layla. Layla. I'm hearing it. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a very beautiful name. That is so cute. You have a middle name? Uh, yeah, we do. We I, I gotta keep that one to see. I'll tell you after we we oh, get yeah. done recording. Is it because it's Tristan? Yo, you gave him. You got me. You got me. Ah, you got me. Tristan. <laughs> well, Layla Tristan Wheeler. <laughs> that definitely that works. But uh, we're oh, keeping yeah. it a secret right now because the middle name is is something that um uh it's like it, it's gonna be we're just we're just gonna announce it on the day of the birth because it, it's gonna be a special thing for for someone in the family so uh but i'll tell you after the I'll tell you after the call just back to the josh thing real quick do you think he'd want to do like actual like political talk like you want me to bring up actual news stories we talk about news stories and just hit it from our different perspectives or do you do you just think we should just talk because we could do that as well like i'm not um, I feel like because it's lazy thinker, I feel like he's down. Like he's he's okay. He likes talking about that kind of stuff. He'll he'll talk condescending. He'll talk shit. Like he'll be like, oh, "God, you're so young." Like he hits us with that all the time, and uh, that's very annoying. But like, I'm he's, down he, for that. He's down to talk about political stuff and all that. I'm sure, just not too too political. Yeah. He's kind of weird. I'm down. I'll pull up some like general, like not not too crazy political news stories. We'll just like talk about shit. It won't be structured. I, I want to get him like I know you want to do it in person, but like if we didn't do it in person, I I would want to get him like a really shitty camera and like <laughs> have, look up like make him look like ten years older and just like sit there with like a shitty camera like <laughs> <laughs> that'd be good. That'd be he just looks good. like an idiot. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's just like what? I don't get your thing on. Am I muted? So he's a fucking me? boomer. <laughs> Uh, no, we definitely should. We, we should do that. I, mean, I, I, I'd prefer to do it in person, but it may be easier for all of us to do it from our own individual setups. And in terms of like making sure that audio quality isn't an issue. Um, yeah, I just i I know you like doing the in person stuff. It just it feels so lazy thinker when we do it over Riverside. Like it does. I just I love the vibe of it. I just love that it's our own little we have our own little background. Um, yeah. I don't know yeah. what you got going on in yours. Are those golf pictures? Um yeah, it's actually the original golf? no. No. Uh it's I, I these are the original um I'm forgetting the fucking the patents for the tee and the actual golf ball. So I've never played a day in my life, but I saw it at Goodwill and I was like I gotta have that. So, I'm hoping uh, Josh is into golf. So I'm hoping he will take me one day um, <clears throat> golfing. So oh, that'd be to nice. Golf. I don't know why my brain immediately <laughs> will take me like sexually. I don't know why I thought you were using your golf patterns to seduce him. I don't. I'm broken. My phrasing was not bad. It was like very on point yeah, of what was I was a talking about. Thing to say, and no sane person would have been all like, "What the hell?" <laughs> <laughs> you heard "take me," and your brain went wild. Um, <laughs> we definitely we should we should plan for that. I'm gonna be out of town. Um, ne- not this upcoming weekend, but the weekend after. Um, so, so we can post to- the episode on by Friday. So if we record this upcoming Monday. We could, we could, we can make that work. Do with I need to go out of town the weekend after next weekend then? Because Josh is out of town this weekend. You're out of town next weekend. 
Oh shit! I want to turn. I want to go out of town. I want to go, go somewhere. Out of town. I feel like I haven't been anywhere. I'm going to. I've already said it. I'm going to Disney in December, so I got to wait that long until I get to go out of town. That's exciting, though. That that that, that, that be, that'll be fun. That'll, that'll be, be fun. fun. I'm excited. We need to do. We need to do a fucking a friendsgiving. Uh, I, I like friendsgiving, so it just never work out. But we'll, you know, we should. We should. We'll I haven't been to one in a long time, so. Oh, you don't have friends. Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Take a baby out of my book. I'm surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right, buddy. <laughs> Lost a few along the way. Main character in <laughs> <Z. You know laughs> <what I'm> <laughs> Just real quick, though, it is crazy. Since I found out that I'm going to be a father, mm-hmm. you really, really do find out who the real ones are because it's 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 pretty wild. Like we don't got to give any specific names or anything, but it it is it is pretty fucking crazy. You know, like it, as soon as it becomes like, obviously this, this child is the most important um, thing in my life. Now, everything else gets docked down a peg and um, the hell? You, like, uh, <laughs> except for you, you're, you're number one. And then Layla will be Count number two. Days, Layla. <laughs> <laughs> your dad will be um, mine again. <laughs> it's, it's just interesting. Like I, I've heard that before the people who found out they're going to have a baby and um, you know, the stories of people losing friends. And uh, it never truly made sense to me until, until now. Honestly, um, that's why I'm super thankful to have you. Um, well, give it time. As soon as the kid comes out and you start stop giving me enough attention, I'm out of there. <laughs> Think I'm working for this relationship? Hell no. Ah, fair. No, I under. I get it. I get it. No, I I'm get a- it. I'm excited to meet Layla. And make sure that she stays cool because her dad's lame. So. Make sure you that, you know, she gets a little bit of main character energy, you know, help her out there while she's growing up. Cause I can't have her, you know, not playing golf and putting up golf pictures. And no, that <laughs> no, was true. You gotta, you gotta protect her, but yeah, it's, uh, I like, I swear to God, this podcast, obviously it's going to be a lot more difficult, but whether it's like a bi-weekly episode where we do like two episodes a month just to catch up, uh, whatever the format is, we got to keep doing this. Cause like now I'm getting, really fucking excited about all the videos and stuff and um, just the life updates and just being able to like have this YouTube channel be a, a library of life events and things that uh, I want to remember. And you'll bring things that you want to remember too. And um, that, that's what makes it like fun. And, and I'm, I'm happy regardless of what happens with this. Like, obviously it'd be nice to get some traction with the show and everything, but um, worst case scenario in 50 years, assuming the world hasn't um, blown itself up, uh, I will be able to look back on those videos and, um, you know, be able to look at the memories in a way that most people aren't able to do. Like, I, I, like our grandchildren will be able to look at us speaking in a clear mic and we'll see HD video of us. And imagine like we saw that, uh, imagine if we could see that with our grandparents and our ancestors. And I would lose so much respect for them. Yeah. I feel like yeah. it's so great that there's the mystery because our grandparents and our parents are just like us. They're kind of dumb. True. <laughs> that was so disrespectful. Uh, no, it's just people, you know, we're all just fucking right. learning as we go and being able to, our kids or our grandkids being able to see us, it's going to be, yeah. it's going to be hard to get them to take us seriously. I mean, you're, you're fine. You're fine. Like you'll sometimes mm. you'll kind of riff off of me and you'll be all like, oh, you'll say some silly, goofy stuff. But like, I don't say anything <laughs> half intelligent. My kid's going to watch true. my kid's going to watch this and be all like, fuck. <laughs> That's <laughs> <an idiot>. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no, no, I, I think I don't know. Like, I actually don't know what I think, but Hell yeah. I think our kids are going to really like looking back at our our content. Yeah, they'll get a kick out of it. That's for sure. It'll be it'll be cool. It'll be cool. They'll they'll make fun of us. Um, yeah, but, yeah, absolutely. Uh, real quick before we go, um, we're hitting our time here. But uh, do you believe in ghosts? I thought, I thought you were going to say God. I was like, whoa, heavy uh, heavy closer. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, um, we know your stance on God. Uh, no, I don't believe in ghosts. At all? I thought this was T Gold, but I was about to end it. I was about to, just, I, was about to end it. <laughs> I just leave. <laughs> that would been so funny, but I like talking, and I don't think you would answer if I tried to get back in. But no, I don't believe in ghosts. No. I think that's dumb. 
Yeah, me too. Oh, hell yeah. Boo. Oh, because of Halloween. Anyways, I guess we should have talked about something spooky. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, it was the, the very beginning and then the very end, but the middle had nothing to <laughs> <nothing, laughs> Of course, not even mentioned. I'm not feeling the Halloween spirit this year. I don't know what it is. I just, I keep forgetting that Halloween's like next week. Or today. It's today. Well, if you're watching this. Ooh. Ooh, spooky. Spooky. Spooky, I hope everyone enjoyed this episode. We will catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Everyone cheer for Tristan Bailey. Tristan Bailey on the microphone. And Layla. Layla. Woo. 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 End the fuck.